Welcome back to Insurmountable. Continuing on with Mountain 1, let's do this mission next. So we just did this one last time. It was described as a mountain formation with a relatively gentle slope. This one is a large mountain with moderate elevation. So I think bigger mountain and more elevation change. So it should be a little bit tougher. Let's see what we have. Stormy weather and eerie surroundings. Shadows and noises follow you on this route. What does that mean? I don't like that. 0.5 minus sanity per hour when moving. Damn, okay. Same equipment as before, I suppose. Yeah. This time we do have our new active ability. Oh, actually, wait. Did we? No. We didn't get that new active ability last time, did we? There is a new task waiting for you, a new challenge to master. You head out again into the unknown. Yeah, looks like we're starting in a storm. We did say stormy. Maybe it's always going to be stormy. Where even is the summit? I... Christ, I can't... <laughs> I don't even know where the summit is. I mean, I guess it must be, like, here, maybe? Would it really be that close, though? I doubt it. I think the summit's probably further on, and we just literally can't even see it. But it should be in that direction, anyway. <clears throat> okay, well, let's start collecting events. Get some good equipment for the rest of the run. Ah, oh, there's no way to avoid a bad tile here, I don't think. I'll just take it. <laughs> Break my foot on the very first, like, hour of the expedition. Oh, old pittance, we've seen this. They go to a small plateau. Okay, now we have the energy to actually do this, unlike last time. Yeah, let's climb the wall. The hooks creak alarmingly as you use them to pull yourself upwards. You hesitate. A fall from this height could kill you. Slowly, you creep up inch by inch until you finally reach the plateau and shelter in a rocky niche. This place has provided refuge to mountaineers before you, and they left something behind. Ooh. Yeah, we get some XP. We get a lot of our energy back, and an O2 bottle. Level up. 24, end of mission, end of mission. So consumable gives you body temperature, and this one is oxygen. Mm, well, it's stormy weather, so I guess I'm especially worried about temperature. Let's take warm thoughts. Really is hard to see, huh? Okay, that has a lot of yellow, but would it be worth getting that? Like, I could use the safety rope. Yeah, what the heck. Use the safety rope. Gonna ignore those. Let's sprint so it doesn't take as much time. Not that there's any special downside to going at night. There was for the last mission, but not for this one. In a rocky hollow, well protected from the wind and weather, you discover a tent, or what remains of one. There's slashes, some provisions outside. Right, we've done this before. Hmm. Let's thoroughly search. In a sleeping bag, you find a thick book bound in leather. You engross yourself in reading the handwritten entries and learn about a zoologist who spent most of her life searching for an undiscovered species of the genus Homo. There's also a sketch of a hirsute human-like creature almost 10 feet in height. It reminds you of the legendary Yeti. Yeah, I mean, we found the abominable snowman's f uh, footprints last mission, didn't we? Oh, we get a lot of XP. End of mission, 24, 24. So let's take this one. More oxygen when moving, and plus 20 maximum oxygen. I 
Now I can't see a gosh darn it thing. Aw, oh, heck. Okay, well, we don't need to worry about ignoring or, like, getting around yellow things, right? Oh, no, we do. My rope expired because we spent so much time in that event. There's a cave over there. I see a treasure chest, another cave. Just move in small bits and then see where we are since it's so hard to actually see. Yeah, let's just pop over to the cave and sleep a bit, I think. Oh, <laughs> gigantic footprints. What do you know? They lead down to a crevice. Right, we've done this before. Mm. My temperature is already not doing so great. I don't want to lose temperature. Energy I'm fine with. We're about to sleep. Let's jump to the other side. You take a few steps, run up, jump, and land on the other side of the crevice. You look for footprints, but in vain. Instead, you find a bag in the snow containing a book about primates and a broken camera with a roll of film. There are also some provisions. Not far away, there's something sticking out of the ground. A stone blade, primitive and very long. Did it belong to the giant? Oh, I want to develop the film. Develop the film. Oh, we level up and get another tent. Nice. End of mission. End of mission. So this is more body temperature when moving. And this is more body temperature when consuming an item. Let's take the one that works when we're moving. Let's follow the creepy noise. There's a clanging. It gets louder, but it's so dark that it's hard to say how far down away the noise is coming from. Mm, yeah, keep going. Make your way forward carefully. The clanging sounds muffled and regular as if it were coming from a broken... Yeah, we've seen this before. And the noise just disappears. Endless darkness. We just get some experience. Wait, wait, hold on. Am I not going to get to sleep here? Frustrated, you turn around and stumble back up the passageway. After a while, you stop still. Have you lost your way? The cold seeps into your bones. You keep going. Still. Nothing. It feels like an eternity, but you finally spy the entrance to the cave. You're scared. Really scared. That could have ended badly. Yeah. Ow. Okay, now we still get a chance to sleep. Thank God. Let's sleep long, try to get more of our temperature back and energy. Twenty-four, end of mission, end of mission. That's the consumable heat thing, and this is oxygen. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely having a problem with body temperature already, so let's take the warm thoughts. couple yellows to get to this treasure chest. Crystal and frost. Let's examine the crystals. They're beautiful. Um, oh, but this time they make you feel sad instead of happy. Hurts our sanity a little bit. It's almost nighttime again. How about we head over there? Follow the wind. Countless stalactites hang from the ceiling, blocking your path. As you deftly search for gaps between the enormous rock formations, ducking beneath them, you suddenly hear a grinding noise. Just a moment later, you feel a sharp, pointed object boring into your shoulder. Lips pressed together in pain, you turn back. It's just not worth it. Oh, we got a status effect. 
Ouch. What does that one do? It hurts to breathe minus two oxygen per hour when moving. Oh, that's actually totally irrelevant. We're well out of the death zone, so yeah, that shouldn't affect us at all, I don't think. Let's sleep. Long. Sleep away most of the night. I like how the caves can only be used once. I mean, I 100% I get it from a gameplay perspective. I just find it funny to think of it as maybe the same thing as the tents. Perhaps the caves are also always dissolving, you know? They're like disposable, made of cellulose or something. Like you just wake up and the cave is just gone. It's melted. Okay, we gotta get that. Although we don't need that much, but sanity or warmth would be good. Oh no, we got a bad event. Climbing next to a flat crevice, you lose your footing and start sliding down. After a few feet, you manage to catch yourself. Mm. Do we burn time and especially heat? Or do we burn energy? Let's burn energy. Easier to get energy back than heat. You're standing at the entrance to a glacial cave. The light that finds its way through the thick ice makes the walls glow a deep, invigorating blue. Oh, nice. More sanity and good amount of XP. 4824, end of mission. Get more stuff when you wake up. Let's take that. I really can't see Jack, so I don't even know if I'm heading in the right direction, to be honest. I wish there was a compass. How easy is that to get? Not that easy. Here, once we hit this square, or, well, it's not a square. Once we hit this hexagon, it'll be daylight. And we might be able to see a little bit more, even if it is storming still. Yeah, where's the death zone? Will I hit the death zone there? Okay, that icon there means we hit the death zone. And I want to gather equipment before that. Because that's when you start to have to haul ass. So I think I want to kind of just mess around here and get some more events. You find a backpack concealed under a thin layer of snow. Bootprints lead away from the spot in a zigzag pattern and disappear behind a rock. Mm. Let's just search the backpack. First thing you pull out of the backpack is an empty brandy bottle, followed by a vacuum flask full of tea and a torch. Something stops you from shuffling everything into your own pack. If the stranger is still alive somewhere, they probably need the provision as badly as you do. Okay, so tea or torch? That's easy. Torch. We can use that in caves. Oh, I think it's disposable. Duration, eight hours. Yeah. I think that's only if you actually use it as like an item, like put it in your hands, I think. I'm just going to use it for caves. Speaking of, there's a cave up there. It's the only one I can spot at the moment. Shrines don't give you items, they give you stats, and I'm, I don't really need anything. I mean, temperature would be pretty good, actually. I was just thinking, do I want to mess around down here or should I start heading up? I think I'm going to head here and then start heading up towards the cave. Don't break a leg, don't break a leg. Okay. The Colton Eagle one. Okay, sanity or warmth? Ah, oh, that's easy. Warmth. Although, I don't have any herbs. And sanity is harder to get back than warmth. 
I'm going to take Sanity. Okay, I'd love that treasure chest. Is that really the only way? Oh, it is. It's a dead end here. Well, let's get this at least. There's too many nasty tiles. I think I want to use my safety loop. Let's also sprint. Then our safety rope will last for longer, right? 5.4, 5.1. I think that's less. It's a corpse. Let's take a cursory look at his belongings. Find some equipment. Oh, nice. Climbing axe. Yes. It's worth spending all that energy. Hmm. Actually, could I even get up there to that cave, even if I wanted to? I can. Could I get there... To the treasure chest and then up to the cave. Yes, I can. Okay, well, maybe I'll do just that. Our rope's still active, so not gonna break our leg. See the outlines of monoliths arranged in a circular pattern. Some of them have collapsed and broken into thousands of pieces. An ancient ritual site? I can burn a lot of temperature. Mm, let's do that. I want equipment. Silent witnesses of an ancient and lost culture. Did nature do this to them? Or were they destroyed by other humans? You're not sure, but something will eventually rise from these ruins. Such as the circle of life. You're about to move on when you spot something twinkling beneath one of the monoliths. You move closer and discover some equipment you can put to good use. Nice fur gloves. Ooh. I could go over there before hitting up the cave. I think I'll still have the energy to do it. And I might be able to get energy back from the shrine. I'd love some snowshoes or something. Warmth or sanity? Yeah, again, warmth is easier to get back than sanity, so let's go with sanity. It's hard to see exactly which tile the cave is on. I think that one. Yeah, let's go. No, wait. Oh, my rope ran out. Ice fall. I can't go quickly because I don't have the energy, so I have to just go carefully, which is going to kill my temperature. Ooh. Slive into a crevice, you're still tending to your bloody knee when you notice the walls of ice shifting and the rift above you growing narrower. Is your body going to be crushed? All your bones broken? Just in time, you climb out of the crevice and escape a crushing fate. Oh, oh man, that just put me into... <laughs> that put me into the danger zone for temperature. I think it's the first time I've been into the danger zone that I can't get out of. Uh, actually, no, I can get out of it. Using any... Consumable item will restore temperature. But I don't need to use anything. And I'm also one tile away from sleeping. Let's just sleep.
We're going to sleep as long as we can. Man, that is not going to get our temperature up very much, though, is it? Hmm. This is not a great start to this expedition, to be honest. Oh, at least it's a clear day. Okay, and there's another cave just up there. So I think it's definitely worth going down to get that. Oh, right, we have 30% more energy cost on all terrain. Oh, the control center. And there's a snarl from inside. Hmm. Oh, the temperature cost. Uh, let's look around, but stay outside. Then I'll actually gain temperature. You find a barred window through which you can see into a rectangular room of surprising proportions. The structure must have been built into the mountain itself, but why go to so much effort? As you contemplate this, you hear another snarl. You quickly gather the herb growing out of the window and quietly leave. Oh, nice. An herb. And a level. End of mission. 48. End of mission. Reduce penalty for sleeping without a tent. No need. I have two tents. Plus one body temperature per hour when moving. Yes. Yes, please. And let's sprint because that's also going to give us plus two body temperature per hour when moving. So, yeah, we'll actually gain a little bit of temperature. But, oof, the energy cost because of our injured leg. Christ. I guess I should just head straight up to the mountain. It is going to be nighttime. Oh, and that's going to be... Oh, that mountain is just high enough to be in the death zone, so I'm going to burn oxygen while I'm sleeping. Shit. Shit. But I guess we're about to go back down in elevation, I think, on the other side of this. So we're just going to get our oxygen back. I guess we don't really need to worry about it, do we? Let's go. Oh man, I hope this isn't a dead end. Cave. Oh, there's a fault in it. Yeah, let's explore the fault. I need stuff. Oh, right, we have the torch. I totally forgot about that. Use our torch. And we get a climbing rope. Right, for three hours, minus 40% energy cost on all terrain. Three uses. Nice. Long sleep. Yeah, gonna lose oxygen, but doesn't matter. Yeah, if I wanted to go there, I have to go down, huh? Hmm. Hmm. you want to sleep in that cave. Oh man, there's so many. It's going to take so much energy to get there. But I could ignore dangerous terrain and use the other rope. Or no, let's ignore dangerous terrain and use the climbing rope. Yeah. Maybe that one first. Oh, right, we just entered the death zone. Oh, shit. Ah, I'm not really going to be able to make use of this. Well, okay, I'm not going to be able to make use of the temporary effects because I'm about to go down in... Um, down in height. But I could take this. Or I could just get the decreased energy cost. No, there's no point. I'm just going to sleep it off. Let's just mend my wounds. It's just uh, it's only going to give me some sanity, but I think it's my best option there. Now we're out of the death zone.
St. Bernard? You suddenly hear a loud bark behind you. You spin around to see a St. Bernard bounding toward you, panting, its tongue lolling. As it obediently sits at your feet, you notice a harness on its back. There's a bag strap to it. What is this St. Bernard doing out in a freaking blizzard? On an island. I search the bag. It's the only thing I can do. The dog waits patiently as you search the bag. You find equipment inside. Oh, Sanity, XP. A warm cap and some hot tea. What a good boy. Nice. Okay, now I'm starting to feel better. I've got a decent amount of equipment. I would love, like, crampons or something. Some food would be nice. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I feel confident that I can now probably do this. Mm, yeah, the safety rope is still active. All right, we're in the death zone again. Oh no, there's someone in here. Uh, let's leave them alone. Let's just find a quiet corner and rest. And we're going to be pretty much maxed on temperature. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's the suggested route, so I know that that's not a dead end if we go over this way. So let's do that. How badly do I want that event? Not that badly. There's that nice event over there. Nah. Oh. It's a little awkward, but it's basically flat, so it takes basically no energy. Ah, let's just go over there and figure out what to do from there. I can't see anything. Beneath a rocky outcrop, a woman sits by a small fire, warming her hands. Her face is painted with artful sweeping lines and circles. When she notices you, she waves at you and starts to gesticulate before pulling something out of her pack. After a moment, you understand that she wants to trade with you. She wants fur gloves, and you can choose something from her in return. Hmm. Well, I have two tents, so I don't want a tent. I definitely don't want to trade equipment for a consumable. Something else is flowers. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to trade. <laughs> no. Okay. Stand still. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, we're going to lose some temp. By just turning around and taking a detour, but that's worth it. Just a little bit of temp. As you walk past a, past a massive crevice, you hear faint cries for help. Looking into its depths, you identify an unfortunate mountaineer at the bottom of the chasm. Oh, we gotta save him. Carefully, you climb down. Shortly before reaching the bottom, you slip and land next to the unfortunate mountaineer. With great effort, you manage to save the mountaineer. His gratitude is beyond words. Ooh, that takes a lot of energy and a little bit of health. But we get a good amount of sanity back and a good amount of XP. 24 hours, end of mission, end of mission. Get more from waking up or more oxygen. Let's get more from waking up. Oh, 
I think I need to sleep. Let's take Sprint just to get more oxygen back, I suppose. Trying to refill this before we get up back to the death zone. Abandoned radio relay station. You cannot believe your eyes. A fallen antenna is blocking your path. I stay and look around. You are certain that the antenna is from years, from the years of occupation. Maybe it was some kind of radio relay station. But what was it used for? You ponder as you continue on your way. Oh, just some XP. There's a lot of treasure chests here. Rocky outcrop. You march along a mountain ridge at steep slopes lined with gnarled trees defying the elements. You spot an oxygen bottle on a narrow and fragile looking ledge. You could pick up a branch and try to salvage the item. Yeah, let's try it. The branch brushes the oxygen bottle, but you lack the strength to move it in your direction. Try again. Sure. You lie down on the ground and stretch as far as you can. Using your branch, you manage to shift the oxygen bottle an inch or two towards you before it gets wedged between two rocks. Uh. Eh, fine, keep trying. With a well-aimed strike, you hit the oxygen bottle, which then rolls to the edge of the outcrop. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm going to go back to sleep in just a second. I keep trying. You did it! That was not worth it. I couldn't remember whether I had one or two oxygen bottles. I had two, so now I have a lot. I definitely don't need any more. I definitely should not have done that. Stone switch. You come across the ruined foundation of a former dwelling. Herbs are growing in a recess. Just as you're about to gather them, a protruding stone catches your eye. It looks like it can be moved. Some kind of switch, perhaps? <laughs> I want to know what the switch does, but I don't have the energy for it. God damn you, oxygen bottle. Mm. Well... It says a former dwelling, so somehow we know that it is not in use. So I guess it's okay to gather the herbs. This place is too eerie for you. You quickly gather the herbs and get out of there. Let's go get this treasure chest, and then after that I think we'll have a sleep. You march along a mountain ridge, its steep slopes lined with gnarled trees defying the elements. There's an oxygen bottle on a narrow and fragile looking ledge. Okay, we don't even have the energy to try it, and I wouldn't try it even if I could. I have three oxygen bottles, was it? Yes. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. It's going to take a lot of energy to go up this high. So let's go ahead and use our climbing rope. Destination, not that far off. Mm, we've got a cave over here. Not 
not really any other events nearby except this one. Perhaps I should get that. Now we're going to have to hit one bad patch getting to it, no matter what. Catch a scent on the wind, burning wood. You follow your nose, and behind some rocky peaks, you discover a patched, a dingy-looking tent. Next to the tent, the glowing embers of a campfire emit a thin plume of smoke. You look around, not a soul for miles. If I call out for the owner, they're just gonna hit me in the head. And I don't want to steal stuff, since someone's obviously living here. So let's just continue. That's a pretty good route. Let's take that. Yeah, I know there are events around here, so let's just go for the sleep. Oh, wait, we're in the death zone, right. Hmm. Well, I do need to sleep anyway. Let's follow the light. Mm, we find hundreds of fireflies, get some XP and some sanity, which is good. Our sanity is pretty low. Yeah, we have three oxygen bottles. This will be fine. Doing lots of steep stuff. So let's do climbing rope. Let's go ahead and take a sanity restoring thing. Actually, maybe not, because it gives us body temperature back and our body temperature is maxed. So, oh, yeah, I'll wait till we can min-max that item. of a roundabout to get to that treasure chest. I don't think I want it that badly. Yeah, let's just go for the summit. Daylight. Good. There's lots of impassable tiles here. Okay, so we have to go over here.
It's a cool rock formation on the tip of this mountain. And... Summit! You breathe in deeply as you look down from the summit. These mountains are really something else. You wonder how you'll find the strength to withstand this madness, but your doubts soon give way to certainty. Deep down you know that every single climb gives as much as it takes. Every step provides experience, makes you better, and now it's time to keep going and reach your goal. can barely see that through the storm. I don't know if there's a nearby cave. Oh, there is one right there. I'm in the death zone, so let's take oxygen. Also, my sanity is just too low for comfort. I'm going to use an herb. Oh, do we not have the energy to get there? Actually, maybe we can take a different route. Apparently not. Hmm. I guess I just have to sleep, huh? I want to sleep again. Mm. Then again, maybe I should. I'm definitely going to need more energy. Yeah, what the heck. Oxygen bottle. And let's sprint. So it'll take less, less oxygen to move because less time is passing. Oh man, that has a lot of bad things in the way, huh? There we go. That's a lot better. You descend into a cave and breathe deeply. The air down here is warmer, moister, and richer in oxygen. You almost feel as if it's befuddling you. Your limbs grow heavy, but your mind remains alert. You relax and regain. Oxygen or energy? Hmm. I mean, it's kind of... They're kind of the same thing, in a way. If I get energy back, I won't have to sleep as long, and when I sleep, it gives me energy back, but takes away oxygen. More oxygen means I don't have to... I don't know. <laughs> they kind of feel pretty much the same at this point in time. But let's go with energy. Hopefully we can get out of the death zone. We're actually not that far from getting out of it. Hope I'm not going into a dead end. 
No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we can go this way. There, we'll be out of the death zone down here. Really a lack of events on this side of the mountain. Back into the death zone. I'd rather go down than up. Just because of the death zone, of course. Let's go ahead and sleep. Out of the death zone, so we'll get oxygen back. My sanity is very low. I'm gonna take another moon herb. My temperature doesn't seem to be a problem. I guess I just got so many temperature related skills, perhaps. Plus, I am wearing fur gloves and a warm cap. Yeah, I think those especially are doing it. Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, we have to go up and around. Into the death zone and then out. cave down there. Oh wait, two caves I think. Let's collect some extra XP on our way to the exit. We're quite close to the exit. Follow the wind. Find some provisions. We lose a lot of temperature. That's fine. We get some hot tea. I don't really need to sleep, to be honest, but I guess it doesn't hurt. Yeah, I think we can be kind of lazy about what we do at this point. I think we're pretty safe. Like, I might break my legs four times going down here, but meh. It's gonna take some energy. Or some time and some heat, sure, why not? Let's explore a fault. Climb down. Oh. Um... We hurt our hand, I think. Injured hand. Plus 30% energy cost when climbing. Two or more height difference. Ouch. Anyway, let's sleep. <laughs> I 
level up. We're pretty much at the end, so... Oh yeah, this is perfect. Plus 75% experience gain in events for 48 hours. We can do that to, well, get some more experience as we're collecting all these events right before the end. Comet, get some sanity and XP. Treasure chest over here. Backpack, let's try to grab it. We failed, keep trying. We failed, keep trying. We failed, keep trying. Uh, it falls out of the way. Wow, that was a massive waste, but who cares? Hmm. Move carefully. Lose some sanity, but otherwise we're fine. Corpse. Let's thoroughly search. Find, find some tea and some experience. I'll get this treasure chest and then head to the exit. Unknown fruit. Eat as many berries as I can. The berries are slightly tart but fresh and tasty. You feel them replenishing your energy and strengthening you for the long journey still ahead of you. You're grateful that nature challenges you, yet also takes care of you. Yeah, healed me, gave me a lot of energy back. Thank you, nature. Anything else? I mean, none of it really matters. Let's go sprint. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about this climb. I think kind of earlier on, but it's turned out fine. It's a good feeling when you know you can kind of just mess around at the end and not really care because you're like doing so well you don't have to worry about it. You know that the mountain is a merciless foe, but this time around you have defeated it. Yeah, give me that juicy XP. Oh, we have more capacity. Nice. And we also unlocked crampon, snow boots, heavy boots, and insulated boots. Sweet. Your ears are still ringing, but you're slowly starting to get used to the side effects of the anomaly. The mysterious stranger seems to be waiting for you again. You want to know what happened to the former residents of the research station. It's an unsolved mystery. Believe me, I spent a very long time trying to find the answer. They just disappeared, left everything behind. It's almost as though they vanished into thin air. The mysterious woman avoids your gaze. You can tell she's hiding something, but the situation seems to be as stressful for her as it is for you, maybe even more so. You decide not to press the issue any further. You'll figure it out eventually. Please, we need to focus on the task at hand. Keep looking around outside while I run some more simulations. I should be done soon. Okay, what do we have? We have some terrain knowledge. Hmm... Proof protection from terrain interruption events. Sure. 5% better on that. 5% better on rock. Oh no, 2% reduced energy on rock. Environment knowledge. Mm, reduce oxygen loss. Reduced energy cost and stormy weather. Sure. That's all fine. I didn't get any more character points. But we do have new items and new capacity. I think equipment is really, really important. Because equipment's going to help you pretty much the entire mission, right? 
where it's consumables are kind of a last resort. So I think I should prioritize equipment. But then I will find equipment in the world. Hmm. Okay, what can I possibly get? All the equipment takes more than I have, so I'd have to dump something. O2 is 100% like needed. I think you can get away without any like task flasks of tea or anything for healing you or anything like that, but like you pretty much need at least an oxygen bottle. Definitely. Safety rope is not necessary, although very nice. If I dump the safety rope, what could we get? 25. I could get the climbing axe. I feel like the flashlight's really good. Purely because you can use it to pretty much almost always get a good result in a cave. And you visit caves a lot. I think that's really important. I'm actually going to get a flashlight. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I feel good about that. All right, well, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to do this side mission, which is, I think, an even larger mountain than the last one.